Whether we choose to look left or right, the hopeless condition of Cardano 80A inflicts the same level of pain. But do you know what's worse? The fact that certain crypto experts are trying their best to add salt to our wounds. We can't stop them, but what matters is the weight of their words of predictions. Recently, major cryptocurrency exchange Uboy announced the removal of the Cardano 88 trading pair from its platform, marking yet another setback for the popular digital asset. The decision comes amid an ongoing investigation by the SEC into the nature of the ADA token. In an official statement, Uboy expressed its commitment to enhancing the trading experience for users as the rationale behind discontinuing several trading pairs, including ADA USD. However, the availability of ADA for trading against USDT and Bitcoin will remain unaffected, suggesting that the removal of ADA is not solely based on any inherent issues with the token, but rather part of a broader strategic move by the exchange. This was highly expected as ADA has faced a listing in the wake of the SEC allegations. Earlier in June, prominent platforms such as Black and Robinhood removed ADA from their listings, following the SEC's accusation that ADA might be classified as a security. You boy just followed the pack. Regardless of the recent delisting news, the market reaction to the announcement has been relatively muted. The removal of the less popular ADA trading pair has had a minimal impact on the token's price. In the broader perspective, Cardano has managed to hold to a crucial price level that dates back to its listing on Binance in 2018. However, the SEC's investigation into ADA and potential classification as a security continues to cast a shadow of doubt over the cryptocurrency. According to many, this was a stain that would never be washed off. But as the situation unfolds, market participants and enthusiasts will be closely watching for any further developments that may impact Cardano's future trajectory. Now, renowned crypto analyst Benjamin Cowan, the founder of Into the Cryptoverse, has raised concerns about the future of Cardano ADA. In a recent Twitter thread, Cowan shared his perspective on ADA's price action, indicating a potential downturn on the horizon. Of course, we're also expecting updates of this nature, and historically, he's been accurate in his prediction and analysis. But what if he isn't? Cowan is not a stranger to crypto trends, but when it comes to matters concerning Cardano, a look beyond the surface is essential. According to Cowan, the ADA to Bitcoin exchange rate currently stands at 900 sats, a level reminiscent of four years ago. He highlighted that the historical data suggests that ADA could experience a significant drop within the next five to six weeks. Cowan also believes that the altcoin market can be very unforgiving, cautioning investors of a potential 50% decline. Also, the analyst elaborated on his findings, presenting a chart illustrating his projected direction for ADA's price movement against Bitcoin. Drawing from the token's price history, Cowan outlined a trend line starting from the bottom of 2018, and based on this pattern, ADA is at risk of revisiting price levels last seen in the third quarter of 2019, potentially occurring in the same quarter of 2023. Cowan emphasized that as an analyst, he evaluates altcoin charts with Bitcoin, but his skepticism extends to ADA's value in dollars as well. He anticipates that the token's price may revisit its previous lows before the year comes to a close, and that's why it remains to be seen how Cardano will weather this predicted storm, but all the same. Cowan's analyst serves as a wake-up call for those invested in the altcoin. If your eggs are all in one basket, it might be the right time to change strategies, and normally for crypto investments, all your eggs should never be in one basket, so to speak. Cardano 88 is not only going to crash by 50%, but what's the worst that could happen? Its identity as the Ethereum killer is also rolling up its sleeves. With its little to nothing value, it's never going to surpass Ethereum or kill it, and not everyone believed Cardano as an Ethereum killer in the first place. For the first four months of the year, Cardano ADA was on a roll. Not only was it keeping up with Ethereum, but it was also keeping up with Bitcoin. And as a result, by mid-April, Cardano was up nearly 80% for the year. A true breakout seemed to be right around the corner. However, in late May, Cardano's founder, Charles Hoskinson, even talked up about the potential of a Cardano summer. But listen, if you're expecting Cardano to take off this summer, it's probably time to reset those expectations. The path of Cardano Ethereum is now diverging, and year-to-date, Cardano is only up 5%, while Ethereum is still up nearly 56%. So if you are given a choice between Cardano and Ethereum, the clear winner is Ethereum, isn't it? So let's hit the nail on the head. The Securities and Exchange Commission ruined Cardano's summer. In early June, the SEC filed lawsuits against two major cryptocurrency exchanges, Binance and Coinbase. In the lawsuits, the SEC mentioned that it considered Cardano to be one of the unregistered securities that these exchanges were offering to customers. As expected, this announcement set off shockwaves in the crypto industry, and in just a week, Cardano plunged by 30%.
So if you're thinking about buying Cardano, you need to understand this regulatory risk. The SEC is still raging out there, and until regulatory issues are resolved, Cardano might have a very difficult time regaining investors' trust. In contrast, Ethereum has remained in the good graces of regulators so far. However, the SEC chair has yet to clarify whether Ethereum is a security or not, and there have been rumblings about the SEC going after Ethereum too. It hasn't happened yet, but we've always seen recently, anything is possible. So in terms of regulatory risk, Ethereum is definitely the safer investment. Taking a closer look at Cardano's progress in two key areas of the blockchain market, which are non-fungible tokens and decentralized finance, both of these aspects have been cited as reasons for Cardano's early year bull run. When it came to NFTs, it looked like Cardano was bridging the gap with Ethereum. And when it comes to DeFi, Cardano is finally starting to make a splash after being a non-player for years. However, investors are no longer convinced that Cardano is making any real progress when it comes to NFTs. Bitcoin has already stolen the limelight with his recent introduction of Bitcoin ordinals. On the DAP Radar website, which tracks NFT sales volume, Cardano only has two NFT collections in the top 20. Ethereum, though, has 18 collections in the top 20. With DeFi, the progress is much more evident, and Cardano deserves a lot of credit here. Out of nowhere, Cardano is now among the top 20 blockchains in total value locked, a crucial metric for measuring overall DeFi strength. Cardano has also unveiled several new DeFi innovations, including a stablecoin, which are setting the stage for long-term growth. All the same, Ethereum still towers over Cardano when it comes to TVO, and it's not even close. Ethereum ranks number 1 with $24.5 billion in TVO, while Cardano ranks number 19 with just $135.9 million in TVO. So while Cardano has made a lot of progress on the DeFi front, it's still a long ways away from challenging Ethereum. I mean, it's not even close. Furthermore, the case against Ethereum is that the best days are behind it. When it launched in July of 2015, it stood alone as a blockchain network with smart contract functionality, and it was nearly unchallenged in rolling out innovations such as NFTs and decentralized exchanges. But right now, the story has been rewritten. There are plenty of potential Ethereum killers out there, and Cardano still wants a spot, so investors can no longer expect the magical returns that Ethereum had delivered in the past. There's just too much competition and regulations are also at their peak. Nevertheless, it's hard to argue with Ethereum's track record or with its commitment of its future development. Ethereum co-founder Victor Buterin continues to provide very promising guidance about what to expect after last year's network upgrade known as The Merge, and it's clear that Ethereum is fully committed to being the best in-class blockchain for years to come. The next 7 years might not be as extraordinary as the first 7 years, but in 2030 you can look back and smile. Cardano ADA would have picked up too. The crypto expert, Benjamin Cowan, has predicted a 50% crash for Cardano. The 88 coin price keeps sinking to the lows, and Cardano's identity as the Ethereum contender is fast fading away. Investor sentiment has not been favorable, and the SEC is not willing to let 88 go. Crypto media has also been decorated with various criticisms and doubts about the Cardano ecosystem. So much is happening, but when a boom comes, the question is, will it involve Cardano 88? But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.